to decorate the Christmas tree. It's time to decorate the Christmas tree. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses there, Daisy. Not yet. But I've... Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but it's time to unbox the Lego City Advent Calendar. Oh, well, let's go discover what, what we can find, find inside. inside. Oh, Jesse, I can't wait to find out what surprises we've got in here today. Oh, neither can I. Okay, so let's have a little look at the box. So on the top of the box here, it actually tells yes. us what figures we're going to find, Jesse. Oh, so cool. we've got someone called Maddie. Maddie. Someone called Billy. Mm -hmm. And Billy's got a helicopter hat. Billy. We've got Mr. Produce down here. Looks like he's in charge of the production line. Yes. We've got Tippy over here, who looks like the ticket master on a train. And over here, we've got Ray's, who looks like they are in charge of the cakes and stuff. Now, all on the box you can see, we've got the setup for the North Pole. We've got Santa and trees. We've got the little stable over here with a donkey. Oh! And guess what the donkey's eating, Jesse? The donkey is eating mince pies. No, the donkey's eating a carrot. A oh, carrot. Oh. Right, and then this looks like the back. So I do eat to undo this little bit of tape and open it up. Now, I love opening these advent calendars. But Jesse, I think it might be your turn. Yes, I love opening advent yes. calendars too. I'm going to do some building today. So here we have. Exciting. Ooh. Here we have. Yeah, I've got it. Got it. Here we have paper. all our numbers. Ooh. And just down here, we've actually got the North Pole. It's got like an Whoa. ice cream there, with like a little seal or something. That looks really cool. North we've North. got over here. So this looks like the donkey stable because you've got yeah. the straws. Mm -hmm. And down here, we've got like an inside of a house with a train set. So that must mean there's a train in there somewhere. Oh, probably. Right. Well, there you go, Jesse. Here we go. Room. Build. Oh. Ta-da! There we go. Right, so coming in hot at number one. Where is number one? one? Oh, Daisy, this is different from all the other advent calendars. Do you know why? Why? Because they're not all in order, all the numbers. They're Ooh. all muddly puddly and mixed muddly, up in middly puddly. Billy. Yeah. Right, we've got to go hunt on, guys. It's a good right. warm up for our Can you guys find number one? Can you see number one anywhere? Yeah. It is. Boom! There. Found it. In the right. house, at the top of the house. Yes. That's exciting. Okay, Ooh, That's okay, so it's like, oh, more Lego. Okay. Here we go, Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Some Lego. It's got this all the pieces. This looks it. like it. Oh, it looks like it could be like a helicopter. A helicopter. There we go. It looks like it could be a helicopter. Whoa, there that's so cool. There we go. So that's cool. for you. Thank you very much. Oh, right. So after number one, what comes after number one, Daisy? Uh, two. Two. Okay. So let's see where number two is. So one was on the very top corner of the house. Number two is in the very middle of the sky. Ooh. And it's got all the pretty stars in there and a little tiny chunk of the moon is on there too. Right, so Daisy, since it's the Christmas season, I was wondering, what is your most favourite Christmas dinner ever? Oh, my most favourite Christmas dinner. I love a turkey dinner with lots and lots of cranberry Ooh. sauce. And pickle juice on top. No, no pickle juice. No? Absolutely not, Jesse. Oh. Okay. Fair enough, it's still around. That's a bit weird, really, if you ask me, because I don't like pickles you on it, but you know. Anyway, how far are you through that Lego build? Are you I almost there? I'm glad you asked, Jess, because I've done it. Have you? Yeah. Oh, exciting. I would like to introduce everybody to, oh, it's a daisy, Got the this. Christmas helicopter. Christmas helicopter chopper. And what colours are on the chopper? So we've got blue. Yellow, we've got a little light blue window there. Oh, that's and this cool. is the Christmas chopper on day number one. Day number one, nice. Let's set that up there. Thank you very much. Right, let's put that there. We no, even get, guys, some spare little pieces so that if you get stuck or lose anything, it's all there. Boom, how helpful is that? Right, Perfect. now, number two, as we said before, it's in the very middle of the box. Open the night sky. Bop, pop it open. Ooh. This one is a cool one. Here we go. Mm, on the wrapper, we've got some donkeys and stuff. So I wonder if this yes. one's a donkey. Well, day number two is Billy. Billy on Billy. day number two. Maybe that's Billy's chopper. Billy's chopper, possibly. Billy's helicopter. There you go, Daisy. Thanks, that's Jesse. for you. So, how, oh, yeah. do, how do we know this is Billy? How do we know that that's Because, his name? as you said, on top of the box, it has all the names here, and we have got. Billy! Right there. And he's actually got a propeller on top of his head. Oh. So it could be his chopper. It could be like the chopper flyer. Yeah. Cool. I wonder what you can eat in a helicopter because mm. if it goes too fast, you might be sick. Yeah, well, um, a nice helicopter good. snack. Ooh, that'd be quite nice, actually. Mm. Like an omelette. Like an an omelette? Well, if you eat loads of food and then you're sick and then it's all mixed up together, mm. fry that sick. No, thank you. No? Absolutely not. I would have thought more like, you know, something nice and chill like uh, candy canes. Something safe that if you drop it, it's okay. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Maybe that's what they eat when they fly in these pilots. Right, okay. Jesse, I have done have Billy. You? And Billy looks like Billy. he is delivering a Christmas letter. Oh, so he's, he's, like, he's like the mailman. I think so. 
just flies a helicopter. So day number two is... Billy! Billy, Billy the mailman who could possibly be flying the chopper. And throwing all the mail out of the chopper. Yeah. On, on people's lawns. Maybe he takes it too far at Christmas. Oh, possibly, all possibly. The way to the right, door number three, guys, is in the very top corner here in the night sky. Ooh. Let's see what's inside. Maybe it's the North Star. That's North in the sky. Star. Yeah. Ooh, close, but I think it actually is. Da -da 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 -da. What's the it is, well, we got the mailman before. Door number three is a mailbox. No, that must be for Billy. Yes, of course. There we go. Thanks, Billy, Jesse. That's for you. Okay, this right. has only got a few parts in. This Ooh. is not a big, big build. This that's is exciting. Okay. Right, let's look for number four. Let's see what's behind it. Here we go. Number four. Pop it open. Uh, pull it open. And let's. See. Ooh, whoa. This one looks really cool. Number four is. A grand piano. Wow. Grand piano behind number four. This one looks really cool. I also got quite a few pieces. So Daisy, you're gonna be pretty busy on this one. Am I? But yeah. Oh goodness on top, me. Ooh, it looks like a cat is on top of the piano. A cat on a, a piano? What's the cat eat around Christmas time? What's a cat eat around Christmas yeah, time? Yeah, a cat eat around Christmas time. Ooh, a special cat treat that's a little bit special milky. Cat treat, like a fishy Custard. Cup. Custard. Yeah, like a milky oh, yeah. treat for the cat. Or like, like a fish Christmas dinner. Yeah, maybe. Fish Christmas dinner. Like maybe a salmon dinner. Have. Salmon dinner. I think cats would really like that. Right, Jesse, yeah. what number have you just undone there? I've just done, undone number four, and it's a grand piano, and it's got some cool, like, you know, like lantern candles on top. Oh, amazing. Well, that means yes. that you gave me day number three, and guess what, Jesse? Have you done it? I have completed day oh, number three. And is it a mailbox? It is a mailbox. Oh, let's see. However, it's got a little secret compartment. No way. Yes, right. Actually. Yeah, it's got crazy. a little door on that you can actually put your letters in. So I'm going to give you this because we have Thank completed. That's what. Boom. Day number, number three is the mailbox. Um, so you're saying you can open it. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can put the letters through that little hole there, and then you open it up. To get the letters out. Yay! Perfect. There we go. Billy will put that next to you because you'll be needing that to deliver and collect all of the letters. Perfect. Amundo. Right. So you're on number four right now. Let's open yes. up number five and see where it is. Ugly, number ugly. five is. Ooh. Bang in the middle of the sky. Let's also take out a little bit of the roof on one of the houses. So let's pop right? open number five. See what's inside. It might be a chimney like what Santa has to go down if it's on the roof. Oh, yeah, possibly. I wonder, Ooh. I wonder. No, 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 no. Right, number five is Choo Choo. It's a train. A Choo Choo train. A Choo Choo train, yeah. It could be like the Polo Express. Yeah, like that steam train. Oh, but yeah. this is definitely not a steam train. I think this one is an electric train. Definitely not. Are you sure? Definitely not. Well, it doesn't look like it. I mean, when you build it, it might look different, but it looks very, it looks more modern, this one. Jesse, so, this, yes. sorry, this has actually got candles on it as well. Yeah, I was saying that. It's like, it's like, like so, old and day, like, kind of like, eerie type of, ooh. ooh. That is really cool. Okay, so this train has got two Carriages on it. It's got a very it's got a front part and it is a bit like a bullet train actually. It's slanted to the front and it looks like it'll go super fast. So it looks really, really, really cool. So I cannot wait for you to build this what one. What day Daisy. was that one, Jesse? This was number five, day number five. Amazing, because I have just finished day number four. Oh yeah! <gasps> Can I see what the what the, uh, what the piano looks like? Absolutely now you've got to be really careful because these fiery bits like to jump out of Okay, the I, I don't holes. want to bear myself. No, do not. No. Oh, there we go. I just need to squish them a bit more. There we go. Here Perfect. we have day number four. Day number four. Here's day number five. Thank you. Boom. Day number four complete. Here is the lovely piano. And the, you know, the cat's just chilling on top. You might be a pianist. You never know. This cat could be cool playing piano. There we go. I wonder Let's... if anyone plays any instruments at home. Maybe some people are getting them for Christmas. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Right, this is a very big choo choo train. It's a very big one. But you got the stage, so you can yeah. have faith in you. So and that is lots of number wheels. five, isn't it? Number five. This is day number five. Okay, now it's time to look for day number six. That's how so it works. Let's hunt for it. Ooh, six is more closer to the ground this time. So it's in like the snowy hills of North Pole. Okay, so we pop what this one over. What is in the snowy hills of the North Pole? What could it be? Yeah, ooh, um, polar bears. It might be a polar bear. Polar bears or snow foxes. Wait, the snow North Fox Poles. Is that the South Pole or the Atlantic? I think the South Pole's got so confused there. Yeah. Oh, snow foxes, because snow foxes bet bubble around in the ground yeah, in the little holes. Ooh, this is too so exciting. Pole. Okay, right, number six. Ooh! Number six is. Da -da 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 -da. Tippy! Number six, we have got Tippy, and I think Tippy is, I think he's either the conductor of the train or the ticket collector. 
Oh, okay. It's a, but he looks like one of those guys. He's got one of those like uh, those flat caps with the little peaks on it and stuff. No way! And he's got oh, look at his, what he's holding. He's holding a cake as well. And that cake looks really, really, really yummy. This is so cool. Oh, right, I'm nearly yes. done, Jesse. Cake. Jessie ooh, cake. cake. That might be a Christmas cake. It Do looks... you know what cake I love to eat? What's your favourite Christmas cake? I love, love, love Christmas pudding. Mm, Christmas pudding. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. I what about you, Jesse? You Christmas. don't like Christmas pudding. No, I do like Christmas pudding, oh. but my favourite Christmas cake. My favourite Christmas cake of all. Yeah. Uh, probably like sardine paste cake. Sardine. Sardine paste, paste cake. cake, yeah. Well, it's actually normal cake, but it's, it's just like, you know how you get ice on top of normal cakes? Mm hmm. I have a sardine paste icing on top. Okay, Jesse, I need your help. Okay. I am listening. I, That's okay. Can you undo that, please? I'm trying my best. The Lego is stuck. I got it stuck, but so far, guys, here's what I've on the train. Yes. This train has actually got a little hook on it because it connects to this section here on the train. Because oh, cool. it's a big, big freight train and it all joins in, and that must have lots of presents in to deliver all the way from the North Pole. Oh, yes, oh, I see. Thank oh, you, Jesse. You're welcome, it's okay. So, I see what you're saying. So, you think they obviously have presents on the train to get delivered yeah. from the North Pole, and then he takes them out and then it's. Yeah. It is, Yep. Slight. I think once you've made the blood list, they all appear on this train, and that's how they get there. That is so cool. So I'm still trying to think of whether. Oh, this cake does look really nice. This, do you know what? This cake actually looks a lot like my sardine paste cake. Yes, Are you nearly done it? So so close. Ooh, so close. So, how so fast close. do you think this train goes? I think it goes a really quadrillion miles an hour. Well, it has to. If it delivers loads of presents, it probably has to come and go back and forth like a million times, does not it? Okay, Jesse. Well, yes. Now I've done it. I'm going to hand it over to you. Thank you. There you go. Here and is you the can see how fast it goes. For the ticket collector. Thank you very there much. There you go. Whoa! Here is the cool, speedy train that Daisy has just built. Let's see how fast it goes. Are you ready? Three, two. One. Whoa. Whoa! That could shoot right off the table, but it's a good job I held it because that would have went everywhere. Okay, well, got really let's super put the train quickly. right over here. What did you say this conductor's name was again, Jesse? Um, his name is Tippy. Tippy, so he, he must I just like, got hold of that cake. Yeah, he must get a load of tips. Ooh. Possibly. Possibly. Yes. Okay, right. so this is number six. You've got number six, haven't you? I have indeed, okay. and I'm just about to finish it. Okay. So, coming in next at number seven is. Da, 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 where's number seven? Ooh, it's in the very bottom corner of the house. So, this is the first week of Christmas done. And you know, the first week of Christmas, it's a very special time. You know, you're That's when you start the... hearing all the Christmas songs. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So, it's the first week over with. So, how would you celebrate? What would you eat on that day? On the, on the, on, oh, on the, the first... last day on the of the last, first week of on Christmas. On the last day of the first week of Christmas, yeah. What Ooh, would you eat? My go to has got to be. I love some. Cinnamon cookies. Cinnamon cookies. Cinnamon mm. cookies. That sounds absolutely mm -hmm. scrumptious. Whoa! Oh no, I thought they were then. I thought I was like, I thought you could like you were psychic or something. It's the cinnamon because cookies, Jesse! It almost, I thought it was, but it is number seven is a cake stand. Oh my goodness! Oh that's a good because stand. that means that our driver here, Tippy, yes. has all his cakes on the cake stand. This must be where that's Tippy driving. gets all his cakes from. This looks really yummy and you get lots of cakes here. I'll be visiting this cake stand. Amazing. Well, I'm gonna give you this. Thank you. Swap, for Tippy. Please. There's the cake stand. Thank you very much. And here is Tippy looking all dapper in his lovely train conductor suit. And his cake in his hand will probably be munching that when he gets hungry because it seems like a long journey mm. to the North Pole on his train, doesn't it? Yeah. So he'll be enjoying that cake. Let's stand him up right there next to his train. There we go. So How many uh, have we found so far? Then? So, so we have found, found one, two, three, four, five, six. Coming in hot, and number one is the chopper. And chopper! We, we think this could be Billy's chopper because Billy looks like a mailman. Yeah. And he also has a propeller on his hat as well, so that could like signal that he is actually the driver of the chopper. That would make sense. So we have Billy in number two. Then we have number three, the post office. Oh. Number four, we have the grand piano with the little pussy cat standing on top. Meow. The piano playing cat. At number five, we have the really fast, very fast electric train that can deliver all the presents. And how fast does it go? It goes like a thousand bazillion gazillion miles per no, hour. No, not a bazillion miles per hour. Like a bazillion miles per hour, yeah, yeah. And then at number five, no, number six, six. we have got Tippy. He nice like all the tips on the train. And then number seven, we've got the lovely cake stand coming in. Well, I'm excited for you to see this cake stand. There I cannot are wait. Three cakes on it. Three, I'm gonna eat them all. I, so I was say, I'd love to eat them all. What cakes do you think they are? What flavours? Mm. What would you give them? Well, the first cake, mm -hmm. I'll probably go with. Hmm, 
what you think. So, the first cake, I think the flavour could be leek and potato flavoured. Leek and potato cake? Leek and potato flavoured cake, yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, then what about cake number two? The cake number two yeah. could possibly be, ooh, tomato and mayonnaise flavoured. That's what you want to open on the 7th of December. A well, I can, I, can well, I can imagine this, right? So you get, you get a, you a, 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 a cake tray, yeah? Yeah, a cake tray. You put your flour, your milk, your eggs and stuff in there. Then you get a lot of mashed up tomatoes and you pour that in there. And you get a whole like, bottle of Heinz mayonnaise, squares it all in, mix it all up, put it in the oven, okay, well, take it out, and then put mayonnaise and tomato sauce on top for the icing. I'm scared because what would you do for cake number three? Cake number three. Well, that's a special one, you see. That's going to mm -hmm. be a very very good one. Okay then, well your special very good cake is... Iron Brew flavoured. Iron Woo! Brew flavoured. Yeah. <sighs> right, well Jesse. Yes. There are your three cakes. Oh. Potato and leek, tomato and mayonnaise, and this is what you found on day number seven. The lovely cakes down with the potato and leek flavoured, the tomato and mayonnaise flavoured, and the Iron Brew flavour. <laughs> now Lovely Jesse. Coffee. I love that we've done the first three, but I think we get halfway to Christmas because we're really, really close. Do you think so? Shall we so? just do a couple more? Okay, okay, since I'm that Let's excited that I love Christmas. Okay, so next so up is number surprises. eight, isn't it? Yeah, number eight, number that was number eight. seven. Let's next is number it. eight. So Ooh. halfway to Christmas, guys, there are 24 days of an advent calendar. Yes. So you want to try and get to at least number, <coughs> number 24, but like number 12. Let's like. Let's yeah, let's, let's at least make a halfway. Yeah, let's get there and then Come recap on. who we've got. Right, number eight is in this house, and it's actually in the middle of tinsel, so we're opening the tinsel house. house. Maybe it's tinsel, maybe it's some Christmas tree Ooh. decorations. Ooh. What do you guys think it could be? What's number eight? This one. Hmm. I'm trying to figure this one out. Number eight looks like it could be a giant cake or at least a pancake stand. A one of the other. A stand, a, pan a, a pile of pancakes or a giant cake. No way. What would you think Ooh. of that, Daisy? I think you might be right. I think it's a stack of pancakes, Jesse. Stack of pancakes? I think it's a stack of pancakes and a cup of cocoa. Oh, cocoa. I love that. Same. My favourite My favorite Christmas drink is a cup of cocoa. I'm going to ask that. Is that your favourite Christmas drink? Yeah, it's my absolute favourite Christmas drink. And I love it when you get some marshmallows on there <gasps> and some whipped cream. Yes, yes. And then some salt and pepper inside the cocoa as well. Jesse, yeah? who feeds you? Salt and pepper. Guys at home, do you have salt and pepper in your hot chocolate? Yeah. Not for me. Do you know what you need to do? What do I need to do? You need to try it with cream and marshmallows. Cream and marshmallows, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay, yes. I can do that, I can do that. I would recommend I cream that. and marshmallows. Okay, if I like it, I'm not sure, but it's okay. So, that was number eight, isn't yes, it? Yes, this is day number eight. We have got four more left to open. Still halfway, okay. Still halfway, and then we've got another 12 afterwards, which is really exciting. No way. I can't wait. So, the characters we've got so far is Billy and Tip, and we've still got, got three more. Actually, no, that's a lie. We've got four more characters. Four more we've characters? Got Maddie, Mr. Produce, and Ray's. But there is a possibility we can get Santa Claus in here too. No way, the big yes, man right. himself. The big man himself. We I can get love Santa, Santa Claus. Me too. How would we get presents without Santa Claus? Well, there's elves obviously making them. But Santa Claus elves does all the deliveries. Yeah, he does all the deliveries. So, which character would you like to get next? Is would you like Maddie, Mr. Produce, Ray's, or Santa Claus? Oh, I would like to find Ray's. Ray's looks like she's eating cakes as well. <gasps> oh, does she? Maybe Ray's at the Christmas markets. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I want to find Santa Claus next because he's my favourite character. Of all. I love Santa Claus so much. He's the nicest guy ever. He's so wow. kind. Who is it, Jesse? Who is it? The suspense okay. is killing me. Number nine, coming in hot. It's at the very bottom. We open it up here in a little sand, the sand hill, snow hill. Ooh, ooh. Oh, whoa. It's not a human, but it is a living creature. It mm. is, number nine, is a little birdie in a bird house. Oh, it looks adorable. actually, you know what it looks like? It looks like a turtle dove. It looks like a turtle dove, yes. Oh, there's uh, like a song a... about that, I think. Yes, there is. Right, well, whilst you give me that, Jesse, there I've got number eight ready for you. Oh, pancake stand. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I want to eat these. So no. day number eight is a pancake stand. A yeah. big stack of pancakes. Oh, some maple syrup on top of this. And some... I love maple syrup. Maple syrup and strawberries and ice cream. And a Tabasco as well. You can't beat it. Tabasco. Yes. Goodness me, this is why we can't take you anywhere. Oh, I just love food so much. There's so many different flavours to experiment with. It's so nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what you are... What this one? This is number nine. This is really clever, guys. This has even got like the little bird versions in. 
It's got some little twigs of all sorts. This so is cool. So, so three sick. more to open after this. So yeah, I mean, next yeah. up is we're into the double digits now, Daisy. Double, double digits. digits. We're on day number ten. Yay! So let's find number ten. Day number, number 10. ten is one of my favourite days. Ooh, so it's in the other far side. So it's in this top corner here. So you poke that little hole open, pop it open there, and oh, Daisy. Jesse. Which character do you say you wanted before? Um, I want to like find Ray's with the cake. Is it Ray? Well, raised? coming in at number day number ten is Ray. Yeah. I think she, oh, I think, she, oh, she, I can't see any cakes. I don't know, you'll have to build it, you'll have to figure out. But it doesn't look like, she looks like she's actually a cleaner. She's got a big sweeping brush here. Well, maybe she is. Well, Jesse. Clean up all the crumbs off the cakes that people have been eating on the train. I'll investigate Ray's because I've got day number nine for uh, you. Thank you. You made the turtle dove in the little birdie house. I definitely did. Look how cool that is. Day number nine is the turtle dove on the bird house. Look how cool that looks. Nice and snugly and warm in the December months as well. I really like Ray's trousers. Yeah. She'll have to have a little look in a minute. She's got like these really oh, cool trousers with the lime green and like a rock belt with like a, a oh, skeleton head on it. She sounds so cool. Yeah. Okay, so you are on the double digits now, number 10. We've got two more left to open. Two? Two more. We've got number well, 11 and number 12. Okay. So let's go hunt for number 11, which is. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Okay, so it's halfway in the sky, but it's also touching the roof of the house, but also in the well, Goodness so me. this is in the middle of everywhere. Here we go, it's open day number 11. It is Santa Claus. Is Ooh, it Santa Claus? No, it's not Santa oh, Claus. Who is it? But, but, but. Oh, okay. This one looks very peculiar, but it looks really fun at the same time. Do you need me to investigate further, Jesse? I think so, Jesse. Okay. This one looks, oh, this one looks like a very, yes. Okay. Well, I've just finished this one if you want me to have a closer inspection. Okie dokie. This one looks like a car, but it's like a standstill car. Okay, well, here's Ray's. Quick, let me have a look at Thank you. Let's get Boom. this going. Coming in at number 10 is Ray's. And I Woo. see what you mean, Daisy. She has got some cool pants. They are really groovy. Like, so cool, though. They are so cool. Okay, right, so you're opening number 11. I am. The last one. Okay, but not least, because we still have 12 more after this one. Well, Jesse, whilst I do this, why don't you open number 12? I'm going to. Together. The last one is number 12. Here we go. Let's open Let's it up. Let's open it together. Oh, yeah. Let's okay. do what friends do and open it all together. Today, because it's Christmas and we're doing some oh. gifts and surprises. Oh, number yeah. 12 looks like a ski station. A ski station? A ski station where you put your skis. And there's like a little bit of a snowman in the corner, so someone built a snowman at a ski station. So, Elsa, do you want to build a snowman? Oh, yes, okay, let's build it. Okay, I've nearly done with our car down here. Build it, build it very high. Mm -hmm. Build it, build it up into the sky. Oh, Jesse, I'm very nearly done. So, whilst oh, yeah. you do that, I will then talk everyone through here. So, I'm just going to connect these little green pieces onto there. The purple bit goes at the back with this little brown bobble on it. Where's yeah. the bobble go? Where's the bob go? On the top, just at the side there. Boom. And then I click this all together. And then we have got, I think this must be Ray's car. Yes. Ray's is Here we car. go. I've made it. This is a little ski stage, little skis in there. A little snowman. Fab, well, day number 11. Yes. Is Ray's car. So day number 11, we got Ray's car just and down there. Ray's car just down yeah. there. Day number 12 is a skiing station with a little snowman built on the side. And we've still got 12 days left till Christmas! Oh, we cannot wait! I can't wait to discover what's inside! So excited! 